here with Samuel Asante and Alexander Alfredo Henry. I got it. Yes. Okay. So, um, how does it feel to have your film do something at the Real World Film Festival? Absolutely an honor. It's amazing, and I'm so happy to be here. Good. Yes. Good, good. Okay. So, do something. What? What are we? I mean, I'm always trying to do something, but tell me a little bit about this film. Who's doing what? So um, this film is experimenting with stereotypes and there's been a lot of um, uprising issues happening in, you know, in Canada and America and it's just dealing with stereotypes and you know, race, racial stereotypes. It's pretty much um, how to overcome you know, yes. different type of stereotypes, especially with the whole Trey Martin uh, shooting and uh, Eric, that, Garner, Eric Garner, you know, yes. Mike Brown, you know, there's a lot of controversy between, um, with that. but. Um, we're pretty much trying to approach this project with mm -hmm. we shouldn't be stereotyping people and uh, we should be learning as a society, we should be learning from our mistakes and growing and looking past um, certain things. Absolutely. Yeah. And Samuel, tell me a little bit about the character that you portray in the film. Okay, well uh, the character's name is Trey and um, I believe uh, it was quite uh, interesting playing this uh, character. I believe a lot of people could relate to him. You know, he's a young, uh, you know, African, uh, you know, Canadian who's uh, really just trying to get by. You know, he's um, going through uh, a lot of issues right now. His uh, his mom is uh, pretty much about to be laid off. Um, he has a younger brother. You know, so he's pretty much the oldest in the family, and uh, he wants to uh, he wants the best for his family. So um, pretty much he's in a dilemma right now, you know, he needs to do something. He needs to find a way to help his family, right? So um, I felt like this character that I was playing, uh, I, like I felt I really related to him because, you know, um, I felt like I was going through the same thing, you know, growing up. So it was uh, quite a, you know, easy transformation, you know, so. And what was it like for you guys working together on set? How did you meet? Well, Tell me the story. Tell me everything. He, he auditioned for my film, and instantly, I, I, he was awesome. He had this authenticity oh, to him. Aw, this is a real moment happening. <laughs> he had this authenticity to him, and you know, I told him my backstory. I have, um, I have a brother who was involved in some some pretty bad things. He automatically related to this, and he was able to portray that character really well. And and it was, I didn't even have to really like talked to him too much it was just i let i let him do his thing and he was ready to go yeah he's a very talented director by the way very talented so yeah, so, yeah. and where's the best place for us to find out more information on each of you and on do something online um i have a facebook page it's called alfredo films that's the best place to find some information on the film <laughs> also real world has done a little bit of information on it as well where you can buy the ticket and it's playing march 7th Programming two at Scotiabank Theater, four to four thirty around that time. And yes. you guys have Twitter? Uh, I do not actually. No I don't really use Twitter, but you guys could find me on uh, Facebook, Samuel Asante, or on Instagram, Samuel Great. Yes. Well, thank you so much, guys, and congratulations. Thank you. Actually, thank I'm you. your biggest fan. Actually, I know who you are. Oh, so. really? Thank you. That's so sweet. Oh, <laughs> I'm Katie Allman, reporting for Katie Chats in downtown Toronto.